Okay, so here's the beast, the yard bird chicken plucker. Again, have not used it yet, just sprayed it with a little bit of water. And I fully intended to make something, and I think you can see it in the camera, to go on here to keep the water away from the bottom. The inlet's right there for that motor, so you don't want anything in there. So I honestly didn't have time or didn't think to do it before today. So what I ended up doing is I took a bucket. So it's a tractor supply bucket. I just put some holes in it. Looks like I put six holes all together there. And then I had four in the very bottom. Um, again, I was just reusing something I already had around. This bucket I used for uh, chicken drippers underneath. They you know, hang in the bucket and let them come up underneath when they were chicks. Um, didn't really care for that much, so just kind of had this bucket with holes in it. Um, so the idea is the bu bucket's gonna go under here. Sorry, right in there. So everything can fill up that bucket. But what I've seen online, most of the time when you do that, it fills up with water so soon that it just pours out everywhere. Um, don't put the holes all the way around. Obviously the whole idea is to keep the water away from the inlet right down here. So try to get it to go out of that direction. Uh, there's also a little bit of a, a valley here in the yard. So the water's gonna come from that and come this direction. So that was the goal there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Just wanted to say a complete failure on the design from Yardbird with where that outlet piece is. Um, even with the bucket there, the water splashes straight down all over the top of the motor and it runs down and gets picked up by the motor underneath. So uh, just as a makeshift, another way to do this, I, I put some duct tape on a Ziploc bag and got that just to try and divert all the water down in here. Um, as long as the duct tape holds, it should hold up fairly well. Hopefully it'll get us through this time. I've seen a lot of people complain about it online. Um, not very many good solutions for it so far. So more to come on that. Um, we'll check it out after the, uh, the day's done. Just trying to cool them down before I start this plucker up. Save some of the skin. This actually did work. The holes in the bucket, you can see how much is in here. And so did the plastic bag. It kept the motor almost completely dry. I'll definitely come up with a, a way to do this more permanently, but I've not had to change the bucket on, well, this makes 24 of the 25 birds. So, and the plucker is definitely worth its weight in gold. All right, so I said I'd do a recap at the end. I kind of forgot before I started to clean up, but this bucket, worked amazing um, you can see my neighbor actually when he found out I was doing birds he asked me if he could bring over a giant rooster he had the plucker did pretty good with it the these feathers the bird is also about a year old too so definitely not like processing a Cornish cross anyway the, the holes I drilled in here just a little bit over an inch in diameter on one side plus the four on the bottom I did not have to empty this bucket one time Never had to touch it. The only thing I had to do uh, twice throughout the day with 25 birds was come in and just push down the feathers. You can see it's a five gallon bucket. It is almost full of feathers. Uh, the yard bird did excellent. Uh, I can't complain. I did tear up a couple of the birds, but that was not the equipment's fault. That was my fault. I had the scalder going and it was just too hot. The uh, one thing I noticed on here, everyone says, you know, 145 to 150. And when this thermometer reads 150, it has got to be hotter than that because every single time it did that, it would tear the skin um, when I put it in the plucker. So started getting it to where I'd get it up to 150, then I'd shut it off, leave the top off of it, 
wait a little bit and then also instead of leaving the birds in I was doing a lot more dunking um, put them in pull them back out wait a little bit put them back in pull it back out and that seemed to help quite a bit um, and also on here between the 125 and 150 anywhere in there the, the feathers were coming out just fine 